What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I had some comments on how I painted my calipers. I actually only did the front, I haven't done the back. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I painted my calipers correctly. You're gonna have a long life for them. It's all about prep work, using the right materials. So let's get started. All right guys, we got a blower in the background. My neighbors decided to get their landscaping crew over. We waited two hours and uh, we're just not gonna wait anymore. So pardon the noise if you hear a blower in the background. So my front calipers I've already painted. I didn't do the back. Um, the reason was because I did them during the winter and one day it was we had some warm temperature and I decided let me do the fronts first. And uh, we didn't get any warm weather until recently so i'm going to do the rears and show you how to do it so what i'm using the <clears throat> first thing you're going to do you want to fill up a bottle with degreaser i'm just using a regular purple power degreaser uh, we're going to spray down the caliper we're going to soak it down and then we're going to use a a brush i'm not going the extra firm one i'm going to go in the, with the middle one it's the copper and i'm also going to use a steel wool piece. This is, um, I just picked it up from AutoZone. Let's see if I have a uh, sticker to show you. So I'm just using the Shore Belt Steel Wool. I'm going to use that as well. So the first thing we're going to do is spray it down. I'm going to put a trash bag underneath. You don't want anything, uh, you don't want a piece of carpet or, or even cardboard because it's going to soak it up too much. If you have a, if you have a nice garage floor, you don't want to mess it up. Put a piece of plastic down. I'm just using a cheap trash bag. Soak it down real good. Let it sit for a little bit. So I let it soak for about five minutes, gave it another spray. And now I'm just gonna use the, the metal brush here and get into all the crevices. Spray it down again, and I'm going to use the Brillo. So after you've done that, just get a rag, some that you're not going to want to use again. And if you have any excess dirt coming off, focus on that area. Next step after you clean it off with degreaser, I'm gonna grab some acetone. I ran out so I raided my wife's uh, nail polish kit, but it's pure acetone. Don't use <laughs> nail polish remover. You want something that's pure acetone. Uh, you can pick it up at uh, AutoZone, Home Depot, any parts store. And I'm gonna go over the tire caliper with this as well. You can see there's not that much dirt left after hitting it with the uh, the degreaser. This is just an added step just so you can prolong the paint and it actually gives it a better surface to adhere to the paint. All right so with that done next step is going to be to let it sit for a minute let it dry then I'm going to tape everything off grab a few more trash bags and we're going to cover the whole area. So now that it's dry, I'm going to go ahead and start taping it up. Don't rush, just take your time and uh, make sure your tape isn't on the caliper and it's on everything else. Great work comes with good prep work. So there's these two boots as well on the BMW. Um, just make sure you, if your car does have them, you tape them up as well. So after you tape up the inside of the caliper, you're going to go back with some trash bags. Make sure you cover up your rotor, everything else, your, um, your wheel well. Just tape it up to the car to secure it. And then we're going to apply the base coat. Let me show you what I'm 
using here. So the first step is to use this metal cast. This is what I'm using by Duplicolor. It's a base coat. It's for surfaces that haven't been painted before and that are not chrome-like. So shake it up real good. So when you spray, you don't want to go heavy so you don't have any runs. It's better to do multiple coats, uh, three light ones than heavy ones. So something like this. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll hit it with another coat. So I waited about 10 minutes and now I'm gonna hit it again with the second coat. So I'm just gonna test it to see if it's dry. Go somewhere in the back where it's uh, not visible to test it and it's dry. So the next thing we're gonna use is the primer, Duplicolor Primer. We stands heat up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It's all heat resistant. All these paints are heat resistant. And just do a light coat, let that dry. We'll hit it again. The primer doesn't take too long to dry. Ready to apply some color. So now we're going with the Duplicolor uh, Blue. I love this color. Same thing, don't go too heavy. Let that dry. All right guys, so I put three coats already. I'm gonna do four coats. This, this will be the last coat of the color. We still need to go back with the clear coat, but before that, so I have an M Sport. I have little emblems I'm gonna put on here and I'm gonna put them on before I clear coat. What that's gonna do, they're self-adhesive, but they can come off. So I'm gonna clear coat over top of them so they don't come off. All right guys, we'll wait for that to dry. While we're waiting for it to dry, if you haven't already, check our website out, thickgarage.com. And if you haven't become a member yet, please do. It will help support our page for future videos. And what you'll get when you become a member are custom plates. Well, these aren't street legal, but you'll get two plates custom to your car, uh, your state, and we'll start with the keyword thick. And make sure you use a discount code thick at checkout so you can get it $5 off when you become a member. So check it out, thickgarage.com, and hit on membership, and you'll see everything that's included when you do become a member. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that notification bell, because we're about to slam Evan's Mercedes C300, waiting for UPS to get here with the uh, springs. We already got the spacers, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that video. And so I put my M badge on. Now I'm gonna get the clear coat. So that's it, two coats of clear coat. That sticker won't come off. So, hope I answered your questions, guys. Make sure you subscribe, stay tuned, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.